Step into the time machine of nostalgia, where black and white screens whispered tales of the extraordinary. Think back to that moment when the room was dimly lit, the scent of buttery popcorn lingering in the air, and the flickering light of the old projector painting shadows on the walls. It was the year 1959 when Attack of the Giant Leeches slithered its way onto the silver screen, a B-movie masterpiece that both thrilled and chilled. The eerie swamp setting, the suspenseful music, and the gripping storyline cast a spell that remains etched in the corridors of memory. Can you still feel the shiver down your spine as those enormous leeches emerged from the depths? Do you remember the heart-pounding excitement as the characters fought for their lives against these slimy monstrosities? But hold on, dear reader, for the show is far from over, as the curtain rises on our journey through random facts about this cult classic. Brace yourself for the bizarre trivia that lurks behind the scenes. From the ingenious low-budget special effects to the quirky anecdotes of the cast and crew, each revelation will transport you back to that time when the line between horror and hilarity was delightfully blurred. So, tighten your seatbelt as we dive into the peculiar realm of Attack of the Giant Leeches. Attack of the Giant Leeches, released in 1959 emerged as a notable science fiction horror film directed by Bernard L. Kowalski. Set in a small, isolated town, the movie revolves around mysterious disappearances attributed to massive leech-like creatures lurking in a nearby swamp. The story delves into the struggles of the townspeople, including the sheriff, his wife, and a local game warden, as they confront these horrifying creatures. The film's low-budget production is evident, yet its ingenuity lies in its depiction of fear and suspense through practical effects. Though not a cinematic masterpiece, the movie gained a cult following for its campy charm and B-movie aesthetics. The iconic poster, featuring a giant leech emerging from the water, has become synonymous with the era's creature features. The film's legacy lies in its influence on the horror and science fiction genres, as it exemplifies the fascination of that era with atomic mutations and the unknown. Despite its shortcomings, Attack of the Giant Leeches remains a nostalgic relic of 1950s pop culture that continues to be celebrated by enthusiasts of classic cult films. Attack of the Giant Leeches, a deep dive into a cult classic in the annals of cinematic history. Certain films carve out a unique niche for themselves. Attack of the Giant Leeches, a 1959 cult classic, is one such gem. While it might not have achieved critical acclaim upon release, its legacy endures, partly due to its intriguing behind-the-scenes stories. Shot in a mere eight days with a budget of $70,000, the film exhibited a resourceful approach to filmmaking. Utilizing both the basic crew from Night of the Blood Beast and existing sets on the Chaplin backlot, director Bernard L. Kowalski spun a tale of horror against all odds. However, what truly makes this production stand out is the unanticipated aquatic ordeal that unfolded during filming. According to Kowalski, producer Gene Corman, ever the penny pincher, balked at the cost of paying grips to push the camera raft during water scenes at the Pasadena Arboretum. This led to an audacious act. Kowalski and his brother took up the task initially, demonstrating their dedication. Eventually, Corman donned a bathing suit, personally maneuvering the camera raft. The outcome, a hospital stay lasting several days, a testament to the unpredictable rigors of indie filmmaking. As time rolled on, Attack of the Giant Leeches found its place in the public domain, amplifying its visibility. The film's quirky charm, combined with its enthralling backstory, has propelled it into the hearts of B-movie enthusiasts and lovers of the absurd. It's a celluloid testament to the creativity that emerges when constraints meet determination. In a world of polished blockbusters, Attack of the Giant Leeches remains a reminder that passion and innovation can flourish even in the most challenging circumstances. And as cinephiles continue to revel in its offbeat narrative, and the aquatic mishap that became part of Hollywood lore, this 1959 classic retains its status as an emblem of the unpredictable and captivating world of filmmaking. The 1959 B-movie sensation, Attack of the Giant Leeches, brought a unique blend of horror and science fiction to the silver screen. One of the film's standout features was the portrayal of the titular creatures, the giant leeches, by actors draped in sack-like suits. These suits, constructed from thin black plastic raincoat-like material, gave the leeches their menacing appearance. To add to the authenticity, fake suckers were artfully sewn onto the suits, completing the eerie effect. 
However, it's not just the unconventional portrayal of the leeches that left a mark on the film's production. Attack of the Giant Leeches was famously shot in a remarkably short span of eight days. This swift production timeline included outdoor sequences filmed at the picturesque Los Angeles County Arboretum and Botanic Garden. The juxtaposition of the schlocky horror flick set against the backdrop of such a serene location added a curious layer of contrast to the movie. As the film's cast and crew worked tirelessly to bring the swampy tale to life, the result was a cult classic that both fascinated and terrified audiences. Attack of the Giant Leeches carved its own niche in the realm of creature features, with its memorable visuals and speedy production becoming integral parts of its legacy. Whether it's the unconventional leech costumes or the brief yet intense filming process, Attack of the Giant Leeches stands as a testament to the creativity and resourcefulness that can be found in the world of low-budget filmmaking. And while the years have passed since its release, the legacy of this quirky horror gem continues to be celebrated by enthusiasts and cinephiles alike. Atomic Terrors Unleashed, Cold War Paranoia, and Attack of the Giant Leeches in the Shadow of Cold War Anxieties. The silver screen brimmed with monstrous creations that mirrored the era's fears. Attack of the Giant Leeches, a 1959 creature feature, slithered into this cinematic landscape, its eerie premise drawing on atomic unease. Set in the languid swamps of Florida, the film was one of a slew of creature features born from nuclear dread. The story speculated that the titular leeches, grotesquely enlarged, owed their mutation to atomic radiation seeping from nearby Cape Canaveral. This scientific stretch didn't deter audiences hungry for a taste of the unknown. But behind the scenes, an episode as surreal as the film's plot unfolded. Actress Yvette Vickers, portraying Liz Walker, took unconventional steps to promote the movie. In a calculated move that turned heads and raised eyebrows, she disrobed for a Playboy centerfold. This daring act thrust the film into the spotlight, hinting at the titillation it promised. Yet, more than skin-deep sensationalism lay at the heart of the movie's production. Director Bernard L. Kowalski and producer Gene Corman grappled over practicalities during filming, notably the cost of camera raft movement. Corman's resistance to compensating grips for the labor of raft pushing led to an unlikely turn of events. Both Kowalski and his brother took up the task initially, later followed by Corman himself, donning swimwear for the job. However, this impromptu decision had unforeseen consequences, as Corman found himself confined to a hospital bed for days. Attack of the Giant Leeches may have capitalized on sensationalism, but its themes resonated with a world on edge. Cold War jitters found an outlet in its oversized leeches, reminding audiences that the greatest terrors often emerge from the unknown realm of scientific possibility. Attack of the Giant Leeches, a B-movie marvel in the annals of cinematic history, certain films emerge as iconic relics of a bygone era, embodying the essence of their time. Attack of the Giant Leeches, the 1959 sci-fi horror flick, stands as a testament to the creative ingenuity and resourcefulness of the era's filmmakers. Born from a mere $70,000 budget and a compressed eight-day shooting schedule, this movie managed to create a lasting impression that transcends its modest origins. Produced on the Chaplin backlot, the film reused sets from another production, Night of the Blood Beast, illustrating the can-do spirit of 1950s independent cinema. What's more, the same dedicated crew worked tirelessly on both films, a testament to their passion for bringing these tales to life on the silver screen. But it's the leeches themselves that steal the spotlight, quite literally. These giant leeches, which served as the central menace, were portrayed by actors draped in sack-like suits constructed from thin black plastic raincoat-like material. The suits, adorned with meticulously crafted fake suckers, added an eerie authenticity to the creature's appearance. A feat of practical effects and creative engineering, this approach highlighted the innovation that characterized this era's filmmaking. Intriguingly, despite its humble origins and somewhat campy execution, Attack of the Giant Leeches left a significant imprint on pop culture. A product of its time, the movie has since become a cherished example of the B-movie genre, achieving cult status thanks to its unapologetic embrace of its own quirks and limitations. Perhaps even more astonishingly, the film now resides in the public domain a status that has enabled it to find new life in the digital age. Its accessibility has allowed a new generation of viewers to revel in its nostalgic charm 
and, dare we say, wince at the ingenuity behind its special effects. In the grand tapestry of cinema, Attack of the Giant Leeches may not have garnered critical acclaim upon its release, but it has secured a unique and enduring legacy. It serves as a vivid reminder that filmmaking, even on a shoestring budget, possesses the remarkable power to captivate and resonate across generations. So, the next time you stumble upon this cinematic relic while perusing your favorite streaming platform, take a moment to appreciate the dedication and resourcefulness that birthed this cult classic. It's a true testament to the magic that happens when creativity and constraints collide on the silver screen. And that, dear readers, is the story of Attack of the Giant Leeches, a B-movie marvel that defied its limitations and swam its way into the annals of pop culture history. As we bid adieu to the mesmerizing world of Attack of the Giant Leeches, it's like bidding farewell to an old friend who's shared its enigmatic tales and captivating scenes. This timeless classic isn't just celluloid, it's a portal to our memories, connecting us to a time when black and white flicks ignited our imaginations. As the credits roll, the curtain falls, but the echoes of those eerie swamp sounds and the suspenseful moments linger on. What made you shiver in the darkness of the unknown? Was it the monstrous leeches themselves or the valiant characters who dared to confront them? Perhaps it's the subtle reminder that even in the face of the unimaginable, humanity's resilience shines through. Did you watch it on a lazy Sunday afternoon, surrounded by the crackling of popcorn and the warmth of family? Or was it a late night rendezvous where every shadow seemed to harbor a leech-like secret? Regardless of where you were or who you were with, this movie imprinted its essence on your story. So, dear cinephile, take a moment to dive into your memory vault and extract the gems of your experience. Reflect on the emotions that surged as the plot unfolded, the gasps you shared, and the shivers that played down your spine. What does this movie mean to you? How does it fit into the grand narrative of your life's movie reel? We invite you to share your cherished recollections and thoughts, to bask in the nostalgia that Attack of the Giant Leeches kindles. Let's celebrate this film not just as a cult classic, but as a part of your personal journey. Thank you for joining us on this exploration of the cinematic realms, for giving life to the celluloid with your memories and reflections. Your time and interest are truly valued as we keep the spirit of these leech-infested waters alive in our minds. Until we embark on another cinematic adventure, keep those memories close and those stories nearer. Stay captivated, stay reflective, stay cinematic. And remember, your story is as unique as the films you adore. Warmly.